Teams understanding the urgency of tonight's Game 4. Hi, everybody. I'm James Sabalski. Welcome back to EA Sports' continuing coverage of the playoffs. And we are about set to drop the puck tonight. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. Moves it quickly over to McCartney. Frees up the puck. Looks to pass it to Camper. Moves it to Jennick. Now over to Drew. And that pass goes off a stick. Jennick's got the puck. Takes a bump but hangs on. Ontario's got it from behind the net. Moves it over to Madden. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Across the line. Quick feed down low. Slides the puck over. Big time save! Oh my goodness! Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Play continues here, but this crowd's still buzzing after what we saw. What a stop that was. Oh, uh, yeah, and they're saying thank you to the goaltender right now, James. They're still on their feet. They're electric right now. And really, it's a nice feeling. Why? Because it doesn't always go this way. So when you have it, you embrace it. Toss it up on the play. He might have a step here. He's in. Oh, oh what a save. Let's see what the officials are calling. Once the stick engages at the lower half of the leg or within the skates, you know it's going to be a tripping call. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. First power play of the game and an opportunity to go up by one. And analytics will tell you, when you score first, chances are you win the game. And that puck leaves the zone. And now it's grabbed by McGregor. Tucson's got a hold of the puck. And he takes the feed. Fires it! There's the whistle as the puck just throws it up. Jennix looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Tucson's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Oh, and he comes up with a big stop there. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Hellenius hoping for some puck luck here on this faceoff as they continue to play shorthanded. The Roadrunners win the faceoff with the stop. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. We're still in the early stages of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Off the face off, they take the puck. And manages to clear the zone. Time of the essence here. Yeah, they can't skate it. They got to move it to be able to gain entry quickly. Oh, here's it on that. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. Puck slid down the ice. Puck bounces into the bench, and we'll get a face off. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Still no score in this one. And they win that draw at center. Hedvig's got it against the boards. Great read to break up the play. Ontario's got it in their own zone. And that's deflected. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Takes a knock, but he's still got the puck. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. The official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. Tucson's got it in the defensive zone. Let some open space at center. Dumps it in. The rain have taken possession along the wall. Feeds the puck to Santini. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Hudson. Shot! Oh, what a stop with the paddle! The Roadrunners have it now. 
down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Gets a glove on it to keep it out. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. The Roadrunners will go to work here in the offensive zone. There's a save. Turns another aside. So the kid comes up clutch here in the postseason. Oh, he does it, James. Gets his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. This shift is more than just a goal, James. It's about everything that tied into it. Relentless pressure, being tenacious. And you know the coaches will be showing this kind of video in practice tomorrow. Why? Because it was a collective unit that was fierce on the puck and they knew exactly when to drive the lane. They just simply wore their opponent down and capitalized. Tucson's open things up here in the first as a result of their offense tonight. Face off here in the neutral zone and we are back underway. And he's ridden off the puck. From the left side, moves it up ahead. The pass in front! What a chance, but they can't connect! The rain have gained control of the puck along the wall. Tynan's picking up steam. Oh, look out! What a collision into the boards! In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming, and that's what he does with that first hit. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Hellenius wins possession in the defensive zone. Slides it across to Chromiak. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Ontario's got possession of the puck. Here's an offensive chance. Dell's got the puck and he's gonna hang on. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. One nothing is where we sit at this point. Hellenius wins possession off the draw. Here's a short pass to Pinelli. Now a quick pass to Santini. Takes the feed. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Looking to set up offensively. My goodness, this has been a pressure-filled shift here. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Tucson's been very impressive to watch in the offensive zone, and they lead it here in the first. Doty's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. I'm not sure how we saw this puck, James. I mean, he's screened. There's a ton of traffic, and he finds the puck to make the save. That one's a fabulous one. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Nice zone entry on the left side. The rain have the puck in their own zone. Grabs it in his own end. Quick pass to Fegamo. Ontario's got the puck in the defensive end. The Roadrunners look to start the transition game. Intercepted by Leonard. 
The Ice Hogs are doing a great job of anticipating the play, and that's why the puck is on their stick. They're intercepting pucks all game long. They've got to make good on them. They've got to transfer it, head north, and start cashing in. More than half the frame has been played here. one nothing the score. And they win the draw here in their own end. Oh, what a stop as he used to just paddle the sweat it away. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice and make himself as big as possible. Play with some dead penalty coming up. Well, that's certainly not going to help the team. I mean, they're losing by one. they got to find a way to get some momentum to get on the board. Now they find themselves killing a penalty. The Roadrunners send their man advantage unit out once more. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it, look for different adjustments to be made. They work in his favor. They go right into the net. Well, goaltenders are just so good in this league, James. If they see the shot, they are going to stop it. And so you got to get traffic in front of the net. On this power play, they do an excellent job of getting bodies in front of the paint. The Roadrunners double their lead to 2 0 now as they look to head into the intermission. Oh, well, yeah, and they'll need to keep their foot on the gas pedal when they come out for the second, James, because man, did they ever get an effective start in the first, putting a ton of shots on net. shot James what that means is the goaltender can't see it so he's listening for it and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it can't find it with his eyes and can't find it with his body here in the late goings of the period Ontario's trailing by one the Roadrunners win the draw slides it on over to Doan Oh, what a hit against the boards! Executed perfectly, James. I mean, he can't maneuver. He's got nowhere to go. He's lined up, and then he's taken down. Ontario's looking to break out. And that's knocked away. Handles the pass at center. Gets it back. Moves it to Jenik. The rain have it in their own zone. Here's a short pass to Madden. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Takes control of the puck. Nice feed from the right wing. Moves the puck along the half wall. Big hit and that frees up possession. The Roadrunners have it now. Quick pass to McGregor. Moves around along the half wall. Here's a chance! Scores! Oh, wow! Well, this keeps going back and forth, doesn't it, James? I'm not sure if the goaltenders like this very much. It's a highly entertaining game, but where's the defense? Uh, as long as we have a voice, I'm all for it. Coaches wanted a lot of shots on net, and the team has delivered so far, leading late in the first. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. The Roadrunners will play it from the defensive zone. Handles the pass from the right wing. Big play inside the defensive zone. Steps inside. And they continue to apply pressure here. The Roadrunners have it now. Quick feed to McGregor. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Slides it back to the blue line. Gives them nothing in front. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. The setters will glide into the dot. The Lightyears has got possession. Let's see what they can do with it now. 
Tynan's been lighting the lamp with this point streak, playing so confident. He knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. There's the end of period number one. Both teams will grab a quick breather. You can grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with second period action in moments. Do you want the assurance of knowing you have a ticket to all the big games? Then grab our season tickets. Guaranteed your seat for the upcoming playoffs. Call the box office for more information, or check out... Well, let's see what period two has in store for us as they are about to drop the puck. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? The Ice Hogs are ahead in this high-scoring affair, James. I mean, we've seen it over the last few years. More shots, more goals, and I think a real product of the skill development of the players at the lower levels. Play is blown dead with the offside. Lots of time left in this period. The Roadrunners have been getting solid offensive contributions, leading 3-1. Ontario's going to start off with the puck here in the neutral zone after winning that face-off. Denies him! Deloka is aggressive and at the top of his crease and makes an outstanding save from the slot. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Tynan's going to play it to the corner. In close! Stones him in front! Golovka's had a solid night between the pipes, James. I mean, he's done everything he could to stop the puck, as indicated by his save percentage, but his team has also been really strong. Got the confidence of their netminder, and they've created a ton of opportunities. The Roadrunners have it in the offensive end. Moves it quickly over to McCartney. Stop that one. The goaltender's at the last line of defense for a reason, and this time, he bails his team out. Tucson's got the puck along the boards. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point-blank range. Tucson's been firing on all cylinders here early in this second period, and they continue to lead this one. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Dumps it in. Tucson's got a hold of it along the wall. The Roadrunners move the puck in the defensive zone. as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Looks like lineups are set and they're ready to Here's get things change. back underway. Off the draw and he ties up his opponent. Takes the feed from the wing. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. And he slides it quickly to Holanius. And that's broken up. Tucson's got a hold of it against the wall. The rain have taken control of the puck. Moves it to Hellenius. Tucson's got the puck in their own end. Hugging stick handling in his own zone. Tucson's got the puck against the half wall. Off the wall and right to the stick. Nice play. Here's a feed in front. And that's intercepted. Rocks him on the play. Grabs the puck at center. Some solid defensive work in the road end with the poke check. The Roadrunners have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Picks up the puck. Here's a short pass to Douglas. Takes a shot. Turns that one away. Covers it up and will get a stoppage in play. Tucson's been just savage in the offensive zone, and they lead it here in this second period. Ward's won the draw inside his own end. Hudson's got the puck in his own zone. Looking to make something happen at center. Tucson's gained possession along the boards. Oh, what a little stick lift on the play and comes up with the puck. Kirkland's into the offensive zone now on the attack. The Rain have possession along the boards. Tucson's got the puck behind the net. And a heads-up kick pass over to his teammate. That one 
misses and will play on. Well, you spend so much time trying to create scoring chances, and when you do, you got to find the back of the net. At the very least, hit it, James. Santini's loving the puck. The Roadrunners take possession in the defensive end. Nice poke check. Ontario's got the puck along the wall. Just gets a piece of it to keep it out wide. Tucson's got it in their own zone. Takes a shot. It's in the back of the net. He scores. That's what you call having a knack for the net, James. When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there's defenders all in around you that are going to come and close. The rain have looked out of this one for the most part, but suddenly they're right back into it after that strike. They're able to cut their deficit in half, and they've stayed the course, James. The ability to be hard on the puck focus. They're pushing hard to get the equalizer. Angles it over to Thomas. Ontario's moving it along the wing. Feeds it to Jennick. And that's broken up by Tynan. The Roadrunners get a hold of the puck in their own end. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. That's a textbook save by Veralta. Poked off the puck. Jones taking it from his own end. And he passes it up ahead to McCartney. Shot just gets enough to keep it out. The Wayne have gained possession. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Too much congestion in front. Here he is in close. Fantastic save. Well, this is a really great save, James. I mean, you can see that he's battling for position. You can see him moving up and down as his eyes are trying to track and find the puck. That's outworking your opponent and finding a way to make the save. A silly chance! And that's stopped! Past the midway mark of the frame, it's a one-goal hockey game. 3-2 is where we sit. Tucson's got possession here in their own end. Passes it to Hebe. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Tucson's on the attack. It's a two-on-one. Across the line. Sends it across. Oh, what a save on the play. Peralta's opted to hang on to the puck for a face-off. Teams are ready for the draw. The linesman about to drop the puck. The Roadrunners win the draw. Quick pass to Leonard. Tucson's got the puck against the boards. Oh, the play! Beat the goaltender, but couldn't beat the post. The Ice Hogs get some emotion from the bench as they look to extend their lead and hit the post now. Everyone thought it might have gone in, and then they realized it didn't. Center key takes the shot. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. Douglas plays the puck. Oh, he the save on the play! What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James, and the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. From the open ice, they gain the line. And that's stopped away by Drew. Gets the puck over to Camper. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Dell's last save was so impressive, James. Really a last-ditch effort to find the puck. When you out battle, when you outwill your opponent, everyone around you gets energized. Just look at the bench. Everyone is elevated because of that save. Quick feed for Lee. Sends the pass over. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Gains the zone along the right wall. Lee pass ahead. And he comes up with a stop there. Ward's got it across the line. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. They've got a two-on-one. Scores! And look at that. The rookie gets in on the playoff scoring. Well, talk about embracing.
harnessing the nervous energy. Now he can take a breath, feel good about himself, and let the creativity flow. What a beautiful play as they catch their opponent flat-footed on transition and they create the numerical advantage. Odd man rush, perfectly executed. Speed, puck movement, and of course, finish. The Roadrunners have extended their lead to two here in the late goings of the second. And they need to stay focused right through this second period. Listen, they've had an outstanding first two periods and they have to finish strong to get to the intermission and reset the tone in the third. Moving into the attacking zone. Puts it on there. Oh, great reflex pass. Stop by Malenko. Big stop by the keeper. Look at this attack here in the O zone. Second intermission approaching quickly here. Moves it quickly over to Thomas. And now he tries to get it across to Madden. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. The Roadrunners gain possession in their own end. Into the attacking end. Moves it to Tynan. Unable to reach that one. Big stop just as time expires in the period. Well, there you go. Two periods down. One more to go, at least for now, right? Third period just around the corner. Waiter service and free team merchandise. Your time is now to reserve your seat in one of our extravagant luxury boxes. See our website. Fans are buzzing. Teams are gliding into position here for the start of the third. And this one's underway here in the third. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? Ontario's got to stop giving the puck away, James. I mean, when it's on their stick, it's like a hot potato, and they're throwing it away. And I'm telling you, their opponent has really dominated possession because of it. They've been chasing the game. they got to do something when they get the puck, and they got to be confident with it. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Tucson's been the better club as they hold a 4-2 lead at this point. The Roadrunners win the draw here in their own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Tucson's across the blue line. Takes a bump and hangs on to the puck. And some good footwork to kick it away. Quick pass across to Thomas. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Oh, and he completely muffs the shot. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Some good stick work to force that turnover. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Stopped by the goaltender. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Ontario's got the puck inside the offensive zone. And that goes off a player in front. Tucson's got a hold of the puck now. And he takes the pass. Slip feed. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Picks up the puck. The official blows the play dead as the puck goes out of bounds. Tucson's got it in the offensive zone. A shot! He scores! And someone's heating up with his second of the night! Yeah, I expect that he's going to be looking for the Hattie because he's been all around the paint tonight, James, just showing off his skill set. This just exemplifies the critical nature of a no-zone face-off, James. When you win it, you own possession and you can attack the net. Get another one here to the total tonight. Uh, what a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. Looking to set up offensively. Here's a short pass to McGregor. Center in front. And that doesn't connect. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Bolalta's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. We're still in the early stages of this period. Tucson's really put the squeeze on here now up by three. 
Ontario's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Taken along the wall by Troviak. Turned that one aside. Pelota's helping his team with his rebound control and really keeping the puck away from the front of the net and cleaning up the trash. Moves the puck across to Kromiak. Here's a shot! Off the glove and the puck skips away! Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end! Taken by Pinelli. Pelota's got it, and I think there's a little strategy involved as he opts for the whistle. Well, yeah, I think he needs a rest, but it's also about game management. Listen, the only reason why they're winning this game is because he has been electric and dynamic between the pipes. Ontario's won the face-off. And off the face of the goaltender. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is in that low inner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes the save. Ontario's Achilles heel tonight has been finding offense as they trail here in the third. Tylen's won the face-off here in the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Fans being treated to an awful lot of lamp lighting tonight. It's 5-2. Tyman's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Takes the bank pass feed. Takes it in front. And that banks off a stick. Scrum on the wall. Picked up along the wall by Onyabuchi. Puck scooped up by Smith. Quick pass to Hebe. Quick shot! Turned aside with the glove by Dell. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Center's gliding up to the face-off dots here. Ontario's won the face-off deep in their own end. Houdon's got it on the offensive end. And he slides it to Kutatoni. Oh, great save here! The Roadrunners moving ahead. The Rain have the puck in their own zone. Directs it on over to Tony. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Can't keep a hold of it. Return pass. They've got numbers here. Grabbed along the board by Kirkland. And now it's taken by Barron. Puck picked up by Kirkland. And now it's grabbed by Camper. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Fagamo. Puck grabbed by Udall. With the back end. Stars! And look at this! Suddenly they're right back into it! I really like their response here, James. They're able to capitalize on the opportunity gets them within two and this two goal deficit it almost feels like there's a little hope now in the game and if they can get one more you'll recognize that the momentum will completely shift the rain have got one back and they've made it a two goal game now well the puck moves quicker than them they're gonna have to transition very quickly and look to counter and get some opportunities on net Hellenius wins it inside the neutral zone Pennelli's got it along the way. The Roadrunners look to start the transition game. Well, this game is wild, James. End-to-end -end action. Let's just forget the defense, shall we, and just go with the goal calls. Quick feed to Hicketts. Gets it over to Hellenius. Ontario's got a hold of the puck. Passed up ahead. Picked up along the boards by Kromia. Quick shot! with the paddle. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Here's a change. More than half the period has expired. Ontario still behind the eight balls. They trail by two goals. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. 
Moves it quickly over to Jimmy. Battle ensues for that loose puck on the boards. Moves it to Doan. Tucson's got it along the wall. The Roadrunners have it behind the cage. Puck goes out of play. We got a face-off coming up. Ontario's failed to convert on scoring opportunities and lots of them here in this third period. Tymon's won the face-off. Great forecheck by the party. Takes possession. Oh, save of the play! What He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. An unbelievable save. And Cheryl, listen to these fans here. They are getting loud. Some of them are getting on their feet here still, applauding that save we saw. James, I think it's the appreciation for the desperation save, the compete, the will to keep that puck out of the net, and they're really showing him the love. Cage with the puck and the save. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. Carl Bade is standing by with who had the better night. Leonard's got my vote here tonight, guys. I know he hasn't recorded any points, but I still like how he's competed and stayed engaged. Tries to get the puck over to Fegamo. The Roadrunners have it from their own end. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Hibbings gained the line and on the attack. Looks to set up at the point now. Solid hit on the play. Here's a short pass to Fegamo. Love is up with the hit. A sense of urgency. Watch out. You can feel the wave coming, James. The rain have pushed back here in the third and have made this a one-goal hockey game. Yeah, tough pushback. And sometimes when it's not working, you have to make adjustments. And those adjustments are really successful in this one. Nice zone entry from the middle. Fires it! And he had an answer with that save! I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. In the final moments of this period, Ontario's still down a goal here, but they have really picked up the tempo these last few minutes. Hellenius wins the draw on their own end. Quick pass to Kroniak. Takes the feed and center from the right wing. That's gloved by Belalta. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. The Roadrunners take possession off the faceoff. Here's a shot. Grabs it with the glove. Bolalta's got it and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he's been so dialed in all game, playing confident and controlled in the crease. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Hellenius wins the faceoff in the offensive zone. There's the whistle. Let's get the call for the officials. Well, this is a critical juncture of the game. You've got the one goal lead, and now you take a penalty. The PK unit has to be the task and kill this all. Opportunity knocking as the man advantage unit takes to the ice. A power play that can even the score here, James. It is massively important that they create some kind of momentum in their favor on this one. And we'll get a reset after the puck goes up and out of play. McGregor's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Ontario's got possession here in the offensive zone. Tracking exercises and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from and he makes the save. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face off here on this power play. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. And they get the puck out of harm's way. 
And he hangs on to the puck. Drives into the crease! Philadelphia's gonna give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Jennings ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. The Roadrunners start with the puck in their own end. And he moves it up to McCartney. Trees in front! Oh, he caught all of that! What a save by Malenko! And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Tucson's penalty killers come up with a monstrous effort. They desperately need a goal. The net is empty and the extra attacker's out. Great read in the offensive zone by Tynan. Handles the pass. The Roadrunners will play it in their own end. Leading in the game up by one. Just have the presence of mind to kill the clock. Put the puck in deep. And that will close the book on this one here tonight. Four games into this series. Two wins at one end of the ice, and two at the other after the response tonight. Well, and the runway's getting shorter, right? Which means the intensity is ramping up. And hey, when teams play four games back-to-back -back against one another, guess what? It gets heated anyways. Well, that brings the night to an end, and we will say goodbye here from rinkside from all of us here at EA Sports. My name is James Sabalski. I gotta get to bed. See ya.